sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth, and if you're new, welcome. Today I put some scraps on my sewing table here, and I'm going to work on a crumb quilt block. I haven't made a quilt, a crumb quilt before, but I definitely have made a lot of projects with little crumbs. And today I'm going to make a block. I truthfully am not sure if this will grow to a quilt or not. Sometimes, you know, the future is unknown. Sometimes things turn into a quilt and sometimes they don't. <laughs> but today I'm going to make a quilt, a quilt block with these tiny little pretty fabric pieces that I just can't throw these away. I have to sew them together, uh, do a little patchwork and see what happens. After sewing some similar sized scraps together, just two by two, I pressed and then I sat down at the sewing machine and I started puzzling some of my scraps together, just kind of figuring out what was about the same size and what pieces looked good together. So then I started sewing these little two scrap pieces into more of a four scrap piece and I didn't really do a lot of thinking, just had fun matching the colors together and the sizes together and I'll find out what comes out of that.
I'm aiming for some patchwork squares and I'm trying to make my little blocks similar in size and when I get a few made I will just compare sizes and see if I need to go a little bigger or if I'll just cut down the larger ones that I have. Here are the four little quilt blocks I made and I measured and this smaller one is a little bit bigger than five inches and this one is even smaller than five inches. I did a little more measuring and I see that this one is six inches wide and I did decide that I would just go ahead and grow these little patchwork blocks to six inches. So I need to add just a little bit more to some of these blocks to make them six inches square. Didn't take long to add a strip here and a strip there, and before I knew it, my blocks were six inches or actually I needed them to be a little bit bigger than six inches. I'm going to trim them down to six inches square.
after all that sewing, there was one block that still was not quite big enough and it had a little diagonal uh, sort of piece there. So I found a scrap that was uh, also sort of cut on a diagonal. So I just plug that into the corner so that I can get this little square to be six inches. I have seen crumb quilts with crumb quilt blocks sewn all together, which are oftentimes really beautiful, but I wanted to add a little something extra to my crumb quilt, and I'm going to add some sashing between my four blocks and make a large block with these four little squares. I'm going to add one and a half inch strips and a one and a half inch center square there, I'm going to sew them together to make a large crumb quilt block. Here's my beautiful quilt block. I really like the way it came out. And when I make more quilt blocks, I will be putting them together in a quilt with a three inch sashing and three inch squares for cornerstones. I think this will make a beautiful crumb quilt. And I always love sewing with you. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.